Hello, my name is Dr. Anna Maria Mihalcha. I'm the supervising physician for the Mercy Blue Room program. Uh, I have also been intimately serving as a primary care physician for Cynthia Schmier, and I've observed her over several years of her medical journey. Uh, Cynthia was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2018, and she underwent a surgical resection of a nodule in her lung, as well as partial resection of two other lobes of her lung. Eight months later, she also underwent uh, an uh, abdominal aneurysm repair. So these are major surgeries that somebody uh, is undergoing for major medical problems. Hello, my name is Cynthia Schmier and I'm here to share an extraordinary journey that I've had recently in the last couple of years. I was diagnosed with lung cancer and an aneurysm in my lower abdomen. I also had high cholesterol, high lipid levels, high, high anxiety. Um, I went through a lot of climbing mountains and a lot of going down into valleys, but I'll tell you, I wouldn't take one ounce of it back for the learning that I gained. And I hope I can convey to you from my heart the importance of the Blue Room. Cynthia had started using the Blue Room uh, when it initially uh, started in 2015, and she used it very regularly. And as soon as she uh, was made aware of these diagnoses, um, as well as she was aware of her emotional state, which was extreme anxiety and stress uh, and fear of this unknown uh, challenge that she was undergoing. She had a remarkable surgical recovery after her lung cancer surgery. The doctors at that time, they were predicting that she would be in the hospital for 10 days. She was released after 48 hours. She attributes this extremely fast healing to the Blue Room that she had uh, undertaken three times a week prior to her surgery. I had my surgeries and I recovered quite miraculously from the surgeries. I started doing the blue rooms when they first came out, but with my diagnosis, I upped it to three times a week. And my removal of my lung and testing of my margins and my lymph noids, they all came out clean, which that process started before my surgery and I really credit it to the Blue Room. She recovered extremely well from her lung cancer surgery and then had this aneurysm surgery as well eight months later. That was very challenging and she suffered from extreme fatigue, uh, depression, hopelessness, anxiety. So she continued in her healing journey with the Blue Room and found ways in which she was able to surrender more and more of her stress level and really reinvent herself as a person. When she had a follow-up CT scan um, a year after her lung surgery, they found a new four millimeter nodule even though they thought it might be infectious or inflammatory, it is always a concern when these nodules appear uh, of whether or not this could be a recurrence of cancer. So she had a true change of mind at that point and she feels that the Blue Room was helping her uh, with great confidence to state that she would not undergo another surgery and that she would be able to heal from this on her own. She continued with the Blue Room, she continued her other uh, medical treatment, she uh, uh, underwent treatment by a naturopath, she was very diligent uh, in terms of changing her lifestyle, losing weight, uh, to address all of her challenges. Every blue room I had, I walked in with massive anxiety and fear. And the frequency of the room allowed me to surrender. 
And I know in my heart that that surrendering is the process of healing. And I experienced it. I would not stop. I will continue to on the blue rooms because I look at it as that big onion that we're peeling and it's just layers and layers and keeps going deeper and deeper in my personal journey. She had a follow-up CT scan of her lungs in August of 2020, which showed complete resolution of the four millimeter lung nodule. And she was released by her cancer doctors for a one year follow-up, which is extremely good news. She attributes this tremendous healing um, to the help that she received, certainly emotionally, spiritually, and then translating into her physical body as a new place of healing. She's literally a new woman. She looks 20 years younger. She has this newfound passion for life. She's joyful. Uh, she's completely transformed from somebody that I saw a couple of years ago with extreme anxiety, so worried about all of these challenges, constantly feeling poorly. After the first year, I had my foul ups and I had a um, another noid show up in my bottom right hand lung and they wanted to monitor that so it showed up and at that moment I was like no I'm not doing this I just had this experience and I got very clear that it was me changing my mind and my reality that it could leave. I didn't have to go through surgeries or chemo or radiation or whatever they want to do. I, I was done with this. Uh, so this is a remarkable transformation and it illustrates how the Blue Room is able to augment a healing journey in wonderful ways again, because of addressing these emotional and spiritual stressors that are affecting the body adversely and that are manifesting as disease in the body. So Cynthia's story is very inspiring in regards to that and she is now enjoying this newfound life that she has and she's certainly not fearful uh, about the future and she really emphasized to me that uh, the importance of dreaming the next future and seeing herself well. She had noticed at some point in her journey that she had stopped dreaming about uh, uh, a future in which she saw herself and that regaining that now and v envisioning herself uh, in a new place, uh, as well as with uh, new hobbies, new attributes, new passions in life, is really what has helped her peel the onion, how she says, uh, and reach this new sense of self. So this is a wonderful and uh, very inspiring journey. Thank you so much. Bottom line, my last CAT scan about a month ago, my noid was gone. Yay! And the war cry that I released when I got my two-year clearance shifted my body and my life into a new me. I feel so alive, so filled with exploration of knowing this aspect of me. I'm excited about life. I'm doing, being, playing, enjoying, and starting different adventures in my career. So, yay, what else could you ask for?